Hello and welcome. I'm Carbon Chili and this is the extravaganza that is my channel. So we're back with Project Zomboid again today. Uh, we're going to see what else we can get done. Uh, going to equip ourselves up here. We're not very far from metalworking uh, level 5. Which means that we can then um, start with some fences. Now, I do apologize about the noise there. That is my dogs barking at the bus again, uh, as always. Uh, one day I shall um, let my viewers meet my dogs. But for the moment, we are going to just concentrate on playing. Now, it's a little bit cold here. I guess that's because it is, he has no jacket on. He's, let's put his hoodie on now. Last time I played, which uh, unfortunately wasn't on video, I did do an awful lot of killing. Um, so we've run out of um, ammunition on the shotguns now. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't a lot. Why am I dropping that? Really, I did not want to drop that. Uh, I'm not really focusing on what I'm doing. Let's wear it with the hood down. Um, we better eat something. There was some crisps in the bag here. So let's eat that. I'm not going to... Or should I take the car? <coughs> Probably better if I jump in the van. I think I have a key here. Franklin Valleen. Okay. So let's run back to the van. And I don't have anything on me. So maybe I should pick up the, uh, the gas things. But I don't really want to do that today. I think I wanted to clear some areas out a little bit. Uh, maybe see if we could find some ammunition for the shotguns. Let's head down to the police station first. Um, and we'll see what we can find. That car, the other car is parked up there quite nicely. This van is on its way out. So it needs a bit of a repair. Now, I don't really fancy the guns just yet because, uh, like I said, we don't have any ammunition. Uh, things don't really respawn very easily here. So, we do have to watch how much ammunition and things we are using. Um, now, as you can see, this is missing a front window. I could really do with spending some time reading a book on mechanics and and maybe fixing this van up a little bit. Uh, it's quite slow, so it keeps me from going too fast and crashing into things. But I, I would love to know if there is a way how to remove the vehicles from the middle of the street. Um, oh, shotgun shells, perfect. Oh, that is fantastic. Just what I wanted. Uh, I think I'm going to take these 9mm rounds as well. Because... Uh, do we want the fiberglass stock? No. Two shotguns. Oh, oh. oh another rifle. And this, oh, oh, it's got a scope. Yeah, I think we're going to take this, which means that we're going to take the 308 rounds. We probably need... Uh, let's just clear this place out. We've got the van with us. Uh, any ammunition is good ammunition. I'm going to take one of these shotguns. Now, I am extremely overloaded, so I need to be a bit careful. He's going to start taking some damage very quickly uh, because of this. So we'll dump all this stuff in the back 
and then maybe we'll go on a little bit of a shoot with this rifle that should be fun now problem with the rifle is it is awful slow to reload uh, the shotgun's pretty good in that way now if I dump this stuff in the back of the van uh, that's probably for the best and then we can take a little drive up north so oh we've got we've got an awful oh got more in here than i thought okay so dump these can i saw that off no let's put it in the back of the van for the moment i've got the rifle let's Put these in the back of the van. Um, that's plenty of ammunition. Plenty. See, the problem with the 9mm is it's so slow to load. So, can I actually put this in my backpack now? That's really what I would prefer to do. Slightly overweight. So, let's go to the garden shop get a saw and saw off this shotgun that should uh, it reduces its range but in all honesty that's no bad thing um, if we get up close now what is in the other seats of this van do people keep putting things in here and leaving them car battery charge your welding mask Mox bank now i believe where i need to go is just to the south of here and um, if there's some zombies here that's not really a, a problem i can i can handle a few zombies last time i came in the shop i got uh, ganked by a couple but we managed to get away successfully um, all I'm looking for is a saw. I don't really want anything else. Just to... Oh, do we want carrot seeds? It's a problem. I get slightly sidetracked. Distracted. Broken plank. Uh, garden saw. That might do it. That might do it. Now, where is this? Oh, I've already got a sword off shotgun. Saw off shotgun. So, I'm going to dump this. I'll put it in the back. I appear to have quite a lot of uh, things like this. Uh, so, let's dump the garden saw. Put this in our backpack. Uh, will the rifle fit in the backpack as well? Okay. That should reduce our weight a little bit. See if there's anything else. Uh, do you know, I'm going to grab a box of nails. Always quite good to have a box of nails. Uh, now we need a drink. Uh, high visibility metalwork. Grab that book. It's also always useful to have books. Uh, tomato seeds. Do you know, go on, I'll have those as well. I'm not really doing gardening. Uh, a colleague of mine is, he's planting the house. My job is supposed to be trapping, but uh, I haven't actually done any yet. Now, I'm going to hold off on the drinking because I want to head up to the dentist's office up here. I can leave the van in the middle of the street. There's not a lot around here. Um, as you can see, we've done several killing sprees around town. I got plenty of ammunition anyway. Now, I want to check the dentist just in case he might have some antibiotics or something. The always quite useful although they don't really work uh, let's have a drink from here and fill the two bottles fill all the bottles so while while it's still working 
uh, we're going to use it. So I better put these in my backpack now. Okay, why will we not go? No, too much, can too much. So head out of here. Put that other shotgun in the back of the van. Um, and maybe grab a little bit of ammunition. Uh, it's a pity you can't put your sawn off on the holster. Now, I shouldn't really be running, but I get a bit impatient sometimes as to where we're going. So, uh, I'm going to dump this some of this stuff in the back of the van. And then I'm going to head north out of town and see what we can find. So, uh, I don't think I need this book. I don't think I need the newspapers. I don't think I need both boxes of nails. I definitely don't need this scrap. Uh, we'll leave one of these. The one that's what? Have any of them got any? Oh, choke tube. Okay, so let's put that one in the container. That gives us some more space. Get that in there. I don't want all of these rounds, so I think. I think, in all honesty, the ones I have in there should be enough. So if I also grab maybe four boxes of shotgun shells, that should be enough, plus the 308s. Yeah, plus the 308s. So, let's load these shotguns and load this 308 so first of all we need to open a box one box and we need to open a box of these as well so open one now i don't believe that's actually oh it has so normally it doesn't always open it so contains a magazine so I have to eject the magazine and with this I just have to insert six shells. Now that does put me overweight. This rifle needs repairing. Um, let's equip it and I need to fill the magazine, actually. Now, insert that magazine. You see, I think this is why it's better for a shotgun, because you don't have to go through all the malarkey to get the thing loaded. Now, do I have the shotgun equipped? I think I want to equip this, actually. And this, I'm overweight, so I'll put this in my backpack. I need that spiked baseball bat. Um, let's put these shotgun shells in there. That gives us 12.1. What else? Put the water in here, because I don't think we really need that. Okay. So. Now... That gives me a good range. So, I see, I, I've never really used the rifle, just a very, very little bit. Um, and so I want to see how, how it is. Now, I think I know where some zombies are. Um, whether, whether I get overwhelmed by them or not is another kettle of fish but I believe up near the school if I read the map the, the high school if I go straight up I'm sure there's some around there 
So we'll just go and have a little bit of a, a, a recce up there and see what we can see. Um, ultimately, at the moment, the aim is to try and get to Muldor because um, no matter how much I've looked, I cannot find a sledgehammer. And we need a sledgehammer to start reconstructing the building the safe house in addition to breaking into the gun shop and seeing what else might be there uh, as you can see I've been up here killing um, I mean another priority is getting the metal working to put a large fence up around the um, base now I'm wondering is that house a Maybe it's worth having a look in that house on the way back for ammunition. It looks like a survivor's house. So, the same with that one. Um, now, there's an awful lot of dead zombies here, but whether we find any live ones, it is the middle of the day and they don't, do tend to be sleeping a little bit. Oh, garden gnome. Let's... Let's go on. Can I nick that now? That would be very, very cool. Maybe I, I will. I don't think it's a good idea to. No, I can't. Uh, I'm not going to go in the house with a gun on. I don't think that's a really wise idea. To open this door could have been very bad. Now, I don't actually have sound on here, so it might be a good idea to have sound to see if there's any zombies in the building. Now, this house looks like it's awfully dilapidated um, and run down, so it looks like it could have been a survivor's house at some point. Certain parts of it I don't seem to be able to enter. Now, is this because the building is falling apart? I wonder. It does look like it's falling apart. Uh, open this door, that's a bathroom. What once was a bathroom. <coughs> yeah doesn't look like an awful lot in this house wonder what's in the drawer nothing's in the drawer uh, bits of the house are missing just missing so I actually don't think there's anything in here and I'm not going to waste my time with this uh, let's just get out of the door here run back to the van and I I at least want to kill something today. I mean, what 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 are our kills at the moment? A uh, hundred, bang on a hundred. Survived for three days. Come on, get in, get in. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get into the vehicle. So let's start it up. My favourite weapon is a sawn-off shotgun. Sawed off. Uh, unfortunately, the English is not quite correct there, or it should be a sawn off shotgun. Anyway, I'm not going to be too pedantic. We are. Let's just back that up a billio. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try something here. So, I think I'm going to leave the van running. Now, I very rarely do that. Very rarely do that. Ah, that's exactly why. That was not good. That's the kind of mistake that gets you killed. Oh, my bat is broken. My bat has broken. How can I repair it? Nails. Okay. 
this is not the place to be repairing a bat. But okay, let's get some nails from the back of the van. That's why I kept the nails. So let's open the box of nails. Do I have them on me? I think I do. So let us repair this. Repair. Now you can repair this quite a lot. Uh, I'm not going to do it the whole way at the moment because it might be a bad idea to do that. But I, I just need to get it at least halfway in case I need to use it because it would be a very bad if I got into a, a fight and I didn't have my bat ready. Uh, that would be almost death, almost instant death in this game. So let's, that's probably all right. Let's get that attached to my back and let's get this equipped in both hands. So now we're going to, we're going to go try shooting a few of these from a range. Now whether this works or not is a moot point. Oh he's got a gun. Oh these are these are old me. Oh that was good. Oh, that was good. Two in one from a distance. Uh, can I get this person? Let's reload. Wow, that rifle is amazing. I love this. This is fantastic. Get him in the head. Reload. <coughs> not far from... Not far from done. Kill this guy with the baseball bat and then we'll get the gun back out. Right, okay, so let's get this equipped again. Reload. Because this is going to be some good loot up here. I know it is. So. And the last one is me. Fantastic. Now, I believe this version of me here has some really cool things. Now, military proof vest, which I don't have anymore. Uh, camo pants. I've got urban military boots. I think I have those. Double gas mask, dog tags. Now, it's this military backpack. What do we have in here? Not really anything, actually. Um, okay. So let's check this other person who has ah, an M1911 pistol. Uh, 
Let us unload the shotgun. I don't think we really need the things. I'd say pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. Very good. So let us smoke a cigarette. Uh, let's smoke first. Then we'll have a you know, I think I might have an orange soda because that will do my food as well. Whoa! Not the place to be doing this. Perfect. So, actually, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I don't think it's a good idea doing that here. Did I pick up that shotgun? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to take it. And i tell you why I'm going to take it. They're always very good for repairing other things. So let's wear this. Um, I'm going to take off my hoodie I'm off well I'm just gonna take my hoodie. Uh get in the van and get ourselves back to the castle and then we can sort out the things we want and the things that we don't want from what we just found. Um I think we'll drop the shotgun we might take the M nineteen eleven pistol I, I think there are 45 caliber and I don't think I have very many 45 bullets so it might be relatively useless for me but that rifle is amazing I love that it can really take them out at a distance without them getting too close or without worrying too much um, so let's not crash into the cars i believe that was one of my cars at some point and it died on me now i think that windscreen has been taken out um but the town is pretty empty now we've still good for fuel um uh so now we've got this this uh rifle me job i might take a little drive up the road to Moldraw, fill myself with uh, ammunition and everything and uh, we can have a little uh, adventure um, I my typical crash um, so we'll get out of here so I've been Carbon Chili and this has been Project Zomboid thank you mm -hmm.